Hi, all. welcome to the session. In our uh, previous session, I showed you how to uh, remove the database. Okay, how to uh, delete the database on from the existing server. Okay, old database, unused databases. But in this session, I'm going to show you how to deinstall the Oracle software. Okay, you have deleted the database, but the software will be there, right? We have to uh, decommission that server completely. We have to do the two steps. First one, database needs to be deleted. Then the software needs to be deinstalled. Okay, from I'm going to show you in this lab how to deinstall the Oracle 19C softwares or binaries from the machine, Linux machine. So this we can do it. Uh, first, we need to uh, execute this command, deinstall command. It's very easy also, but a bit cautious. Okay, as and when which database you need to deinstall and uh, whether you have proper approvals, everything. If it is a demo, I'm showing is a demo. It is it is not uh, recommended to anyone to proceed and delete your instances. Okay, okay. Deinstallations, what it does, I mean, what it will do. Deinstallations will remove all the Oracle softwares and the configuration files. Whatever we have downloaded the software and installed on our server, we have to go with a proper deinstall. Otherwise, you no, know, some of the softwares will be there and uh, that will be clumsy, right? Uh, that is not a good approach to remove the physical files directly. We can go with a method which is there to deinstall the software. So, okay, this deinstall removes the softwares and configuration files on the OS level itself, Linux server, operating system level, uh, it is going to specific Oracle home. Which one we want to deinstall, that only it will touch. It will not touch any other uh, softwares. So that I'll show you it, okay? And also, the it will remove the, from the central element, it will remove the Oracle home, okay? This, I told you in, in, in earlier uh, videos also, I told you, Whatever the information is there in local node or local inventory, okay? Local inventory is specifically to your individual Oracle homes. Central inventory is complete the server level. I'll show you that here. This is my server. If I can say global inventory is cat etc. Vara INV. This is my central inventory, okay? This central inventory will store your complete information of the server level, if you have multiple database installed on the server, all the database related configuration changes, if you applied some patches, those informations, okay, what kind of configuration changes, the central inventory, okay. From here, the central inventory of this local node, okay, which one we are going to remove the software, that also it will detach. Suppose in my case, it, this is my Oracle home location, it is going to delete this directory itself. Okay, I'll show you that. First of all, let me show you my Oracle home. Okay, echo dollar Oracle underscore home. This is my Oracle home, which I want to remove the software. Oracle home is having all my software files. These are all my software files. I don't want this one. I want to uninstall or deinstall this thing. So okay. how I'm going to approach, okay, deinstallation steps. We need to go to Oracle home location and deinstall folder. There we have a command deinstall. Let me go to that. I'm in Oracle home location. Here we have a deinstall folder. Yes, we have. Under this directory, we have deinstall is the file. It is not a directory, okay? By using this command, we can deinstall it. Let me clear the screen and then we can do it. Okay, deinstall. INST. Okay, if it is not taking, then take it this okay. way. D I N S T A L. What is going to checking? It's checking for required files and bootstrapping everything, whatever the software we are having related to this Oracle home, from this Oracle home, that is going to delete it completely. Specify all single inst mean single instance listeners that are deconfigured. Okay. Click on enter, it is going to take it everything, whatever the listeners and other things is there, no, that is going to delete it. Listener files and other configuration files. And also specify the list of Oracle home, Oracle database names that are configured on this Oracle home. If you have multiple database forms is there, we need to specify that. If you have multiple listeners is there, individual databases will be there. Those you need to mention. 
my listener default listener is this one i'm using this listener that's where i mentioned this okay if you have multiple listeners specify this home related listener only don't uh, mention other uh, listener names under okay specify the list of the database oracle homes the configured one i'll i mean i don't have any other oracle homes i'm going to use this one only okay then uh, if you if you want to uninstall other database home you need to go to that location specifically if you have another uh, database home in u03 go to that location and then you need to disable it I mean uh, deinstall those softwares that is one input here it is one input and the oracle home is another input third one specify the type of databases it's a single instance and oracle reset enabled database or which one by default option one is going to select option one is single instance database so if it is a rack or other things you can select another thing okay My, ours is this instance is single instance i am sure that that's where i'm not going to give it it by default one is going to take it so diagnostic location by default it is going to fetch it so i don't want to mention that Specify the storage type used by this database, ASMR uh, file system, which file system it is going to use. Mine is FS file system, local file system, it is not ASMR. So list of the directories which are there on this one. I don't want to give anything. By default, it will pick it this one. So that is fine. Data files with full path and done. Specify the FRA location. I it I mean why because I already deinstalled the I mean uh, deleted the database. No need to mention that is now. SP file location. We need to mention that SP file location where our SP file is there. So why these many inputs are going to take? It's very crucial one, right? If you are going to removing the software, means it's very very uh, delicate one and also I mean very impacted one also, right? It is going to delete your existing one instead of you are deleting one uh, database software another home that will be the issue that's where these many inputs these all inputs we need to take it into one notepad then we need to enter one by one okay once or twice you need to cross check which home you are going to deinstall which which kind of inputs you are going to give it okay our catalog mode enabled i think yes Continue, yes. Error message is returned. Uh, if any errors are there, the logs will be there. Do you want to continue? Okay, all the inputs which we have provided, right? That will check it here. Deconfig check operation end. Okay, these inputs have been taken, been taken and then it is going to start at the decommission. Decommission of the database, it is going to take a couple of minutes. So completely this executed why because I haven't used much I don't have much software so I haven't updated much patches I don't have much software level uh, things that's where it is going to very quick okay so it is going to what it is doing deinstall clean operation summary okay it is detached our Oracle home from the central inventory done and it is going to delete the home path this path will not be there anymore that is deleted and deleted the inventory path and local node, local node, okay, not the central local node inventory has been deleted. OUI cleanup has been done, OUI Oracle Universal um, Installer to configure your inventory corruption sorry, up and anything happen, you can use OUI and then you can reconfigure your inventory. So what it is going to suggest us remove ETC things as a root primary at the end session. If you want to delete inventories and all, you can do it using these commands. And also we have some other Vara tab inventory. I mean, Vara tab entries will be there. This Vara tab needs to be deleted. So we need, this is going to prompt uh, these things as well, okay? This is our Oracle base location. If you want to delete Oracle base, we need to do it manually. Let me check whether it is deleted Oracle home or not. Echo dollar. Oracle home path it is going to why because I have exported the path okay but manually if you can check there is no directory no such file 
just before of this uh, day installation i saw right this is the path i have all these software files this has been deinstalled completely okay and also i need to check these files whether we have these files or not then this is an empty yeah yes it is there we need to remove this orcl fmb this is this one and root level we need to do it, this thing so it clearly mentioned these things we need to delete it from the root let me connect it to root then i'll use this let me check lsf ltr this is a global inventory i'm going to remove this delete it yes i have deleted that and then this one remove remove if and not, whatever they given we have to use that yes yes all the libs input so many files are there if you want to delete multiple files inside of this instead of this i can use rf recursive all the files no need to give all this if you have 100 files right 100 files if you are going to give it one one yes 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 it get a thousand files how we are if you mention rf recursively what are all the files is there directories is there it is going to delete it then what are tab entries i'm going to delete the Vara tab see again it is having some files that's clear so this concludes our uh, database software deinstall successfully now this server i can use it for any other databases which i want to install i can install at the time I, I may not get any kind of errors this is the way how we are going to deinstall the softwares okay thank you for watching